Hello and welcome to Foley Society Reviews. Today I have a very special video and I'm excited to share it to you all. It's the limited edition of Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. And this edition is illustrated by Charles van Sandwick, the Canadian artist. I hope you will enjoy this video. And here is the book, quarter bound in vellum with the vellum tips. It is blocked in four different foils on the Merida paper. Truly fantastic front cover with the white rabbit. Let's move on to the spine uh, with Alice in Wonderland and this is blocked in 22 karat gold on the vellum spine. And the back is just the Merida paper. With the tips of course. And the top edge of the page is gilded. But let's continue inside some lovely end papers. These are actually printed letterpress. You also get this note. mentioning a bit about the vellum spine. The paper here, both the end paper and uh, this paper is called Hanemul Bugra Button and the paper used for the limitation spread with the numbering and signature is called Somerset Velvet Buff Mulmaid paper and it's 100% cotton. And I have the number 940 uh, from the 1000 limitation. And here is Charles van Sandwick's uh, signature. And here comes the regular paper used throughout the book. Uh, it's called Ambassador Cream Twin Wire Laid. And here you can see the first color plate. And the illustrations are tipped in. As you can see, and all of these are tipped in uh, by hand. An Alice Adventures in Wonderland was first published in 1865, and here are the contents with the chapters. And this edition have 11 color plates. And
And here's the publisher's note and the author's note. And then the book begins. The paper used for this book is very thick and the illustration and the text really looks good on the paper. The book is set in Founders Castle and the text is very readable. And here is the first scrap uh, which is tipped in around a border. Same with here. And here is another tipped in illustration. I really love the decorated letters. And this design is quite cool.
if you want to know all the information about this book, uh, how it's made and from which materials, then just read this. And the end papers at the back are also a printed letterpress. I would also like to add that uh, this Hanemule Bugra button is acid free, uh, more made and wood free as well. But of course everything in this book is uh, acid free and of a very high quality. The spine is of course smith-sewn with a red, a dark red headband. And the spine is rounded. The book opens up fairly easily, but just like the note said, uh, the Spine takes a bit of a break in time before it fully opens up. And lastly we are going to check out the solander box or clamshell box, whatever you like to call it. It is bound in uh, paradise cloth. And the spine titling label is blocked in two colors with the caterpillar smoking and with Alice in Wonderland in gold and Lewis Carroll. And this is blocked on laid paper. Let's open it up. And inside you have Hanemul Bugra button, the same used for the end papers but it's very easy to open and close it a very nice solander box but uh, that was all i wanted to share with you guys i hope i managed to capture the beauty of this book but if you have any questions about this edition or any other edition in my collection make sure to leave a comment and i will answer it as quickly as i can please check out my patreon page if you want to the link is in the description or it's showing right here if you want to see more photo society videos in the future make sure to subscribe and please like this video if you enjoyed it but other than that i want to thank you so much for watching and i hope i will see you next time goodbye